Hello, great minds. Welcome back to Learn with SOS. My name is also Steve Sebastian, KNUS School of Business, Final Year. And today I am honored to take you through logic and critical thinking, LCT 162, multiple choice questions. Today's video is going to test our understanding on lesson one. So please, before you continue, if you have not watched the previous video, I will advise you to do so because the aim of this video is to evaluate or test our understanding of the previous lesson. Now grab your pens and your notepads and let's begin this question. And don't forget to let me know the number of questions you had correct in the comment section below. Now, let's begin Great Minds. Now, our first question. How would you describe the standards of critical thinking? How would you describe the standards of critical thinking? Irrational, rational, sound, or truth you can feel free to pause the video to think of your own answer before i say mine or i give you the correct answer from the definition in reference to the previous video you realize that critical thinking are based on rational standards so the answer is b b is the answer b all right, let's move to question number two. Number two, critical thinking is used to dot, dot, dot existing beliefs and dot, dot, dot new ones. Formulate, evaluate, evaluate, formulate, formulate, reject, accept, evaluate. Now we can cancel two of the options out, C and D go out so now the two keywords are evaluate and formulate but the question is which one of them comes first in critical thinking we evaluate existing beliefs and we formulate new ones on that note b is the answer so critical thinking is used to evaluate existing beliefs and formulate new ones so b is our answer let's move to our next question question number three question three all the following are considered critical thinking except that means the following options are all considered as critical thinking. One of them doesn't belong or is not really considered or accepted as critical thinking. Understanding concepts, asking hard questions, thinking outside the box, or rejecting unreasonable assumptions. If you remember what I call it the pillars of critical thinking, understanding concepts is not really considered as critical thinking at the moment you start asking hard questions thinking outside the box and rejecting biases or unreasonable assumptions you are being a critical thinker you are doing critical thinking so that makes the answer a a is the correct answer it's not part let's move on to our fourth question Question number four, the moral principle in guiding how we actually behave is termed as the last time I think we established two behaviors in critical thinking. We, we talked about the descriptive and the normative. Which one talks about how people actually behave? Yes, you are right. The answer is descriptive enterprise. So that makes C the answer. Normative is about what we ought to do or ought to think. 
But what we actually do or think is the descriptive. Question number five. I think in reference to the fourth question, you should get this thing correct. Critical thinking is normative. Oh yes, it's true. Because critical thinking is all about what we ought to think or how we ought to behave. So it's a normative enterprise. Question number six. In critical thinking, one aim is to form belief that are dot 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 and dot dot dot. False objective, true subjective, true false, true objective. In critical thinking, one aim is to form belief that are what and what. Yes, you are right. You want to form beliefs that are true in the first place. And secondly, they should be objective. Objective is talking about standards. Subjective is all about feelings, gut feelings. And critical thinking has nothing to do with gut feelings. So you want to form beliefs that are true and what? Objective. Very good. Let's move on to our seventh question. Question number seven. How people actually acquire their beliefs coincide with how they morally ought to behave? Do you agree or you disagree? How people actually acquire their beliefs or how people actually behave, does it coincide with how they morally ought to behave? Yes, you are right. It's a false statement. It doesn't coincide. Because the things we are taught or the beliefs we had or the beliefs we have right now, is that what we do? No. So it doesn't coincide. Sometimes the way we behave is inversely related to the things we believe in or we are taught. So it's a false statement. So that makes B the answer. Question number eight. We talked about the standards of critical thinking. We look at a lot of them. And each under each um, standard, we ask some questions. So if in an argument, you ask this question, how does that bear on the issue? How does that bear on the issue? This question relates to which of the following standards? Is it accuracy, relevance, fairness, or completeness? How does that bear on the issue? Yes, you are right. It's relevance. You want to know if what the speaker or persona is saying is related to the topic under discussion. So that makes B the answer. I hope you are taking note of all the answers. You might miss some of them in your end of sem or mid sem our last but one question critical thinking is not just gut feelings but rather distinct procedures this statement describe what about critical thinking subjectivity systematic argument or beliefs yes you are right systematic it is systematic because he used what distinct procedures. Our last question, I'm expecting everyone to get it correct. That one, you can even close your eyes and tell me the answer. Now, let's look at the question. There you go. You will pass in this course. You're going to pass in critical thinking. Should I even worry myself to read the answers? No, the answer is true. This one, close your eyes and um, get it correct. So, I'm not expecting anyone to guess there because for number 10 is bonus to all of us. Yeah. So, how many questions did you get correct? Yeah, feel free to let me know in the comment section and I'll um, respond to your feedback. So, um, that is where we end today's video it's been wonderful having you here
that is lying with SOS, powerful beyond measure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more videos and for more videos like this. Alright? See you when I see you. Great minds change the world.